Another issue I've got here with the new iPhone is the screen, like this chassis, it's straight out of 2012, coming as it did with the iPhone 5. While you could just think that it's simply a smaller version of what's on the current iPhone Duo, in truth it's rather old in terms of spec. Of course it's Retina Display, Apple's shorthand for a phone that hits a certain sharpness at a certain distance from your eyes, but in a 4-inch display, there's a noticeable lack of sharpness here. iPhone SE Review Apple's always focused more on the quality of the display than pixel density, its iPad range is industry-leading when it comes to having a great-looking screen, rather than shoving in more pixels for the sake of it. But when Samsung is easily making the best smartphone screens in the world, and even the iPhone 8 is stuck on a 720p display, I'd have hoped for a little bit of an upgrade for the iPhone SE. Instead it's used the same LCD and digitizer layer as found on the older models, again, likely to save money on production, and as a result it's clearly less sharp and lower quality than the flagship brands. The key thing for any brand in making a quality phone is making sure four pillars are present and correct. Great design, non-annoying battery life, good camera and quality screen. After all, it's the bit you stare at most. Apple's not stupid though, this display is more than good enough. The lower contrast ratio, 800 to 1 is quite far behind some of the top phones on the market right now. The new iPhone 6s Duo included, is probably the most irksome element, but in terms of sharpness the 4-inch display handles the 1334 by 750 resolution adequately. One thing I didn't miss a jot was 3D touch. I still like the idea of a screen that has levels of pressure response baked right in, but I constantly forgot the feature was there on the larger iPhone, although it has got better over the years. While it would have been nice to have the option on the SI, it's not like I ever felt the experience was compromised by its mission. And when viewing live photos in the gallery app, the simple long press on the screen activated the mini video just fine. On the iPhone 6s you need to prod the screen a little harder to get the motion going, it just seems like overkill when it's so easy to do without the technology on the SE.